works. So, yeah, I knew she owned the warehouse. That's why I was there the night of the fire. To check out what she was up to? Yeah. This is Carmen Santos we're talking about. All right, so naturally she denied doing anything illegal. Of course. Swore up and down that her business is legit. You didn't believe her? Of course not. But I didn't have any proof that she was up to anything shady, so... So you wanted to dig right. and find something? That's why I was at the warehouse. And then I had some run-in with this idiot who worked for her, even mentioned her by name, well, so smart. Run in, what do you, what do you mean, a fight? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but not before he told me that Carmen had planned a little arson for the place. Did you tell Carmen this? Yeah, of course I did. I had a feeling that this is why you were at that warehouse. You know, the minute that I heard that you were half dead, pulled out of a fire, I knew that Carmen was behind this. That's I'm... why I hired Ituro. We don't even need Ituro anymore because you can prove that Carmen's responsible for this. I'm going to call Harley. Wait, hey, hey, hold on. Hey, stop. Slow down. Now, Carmen didn't know that I was going to be there. She was not out to get me. I, I don't care, Danny. You were almost killed, and it's Carmen's fault. And to think that I thanked her in the hospital for bringing in that doctor to save your life when she's the reason you were in the hospital to begin with. Michelle, don't. Danny, you can't Don't. trust her. She only Ooh. tried to save your life to ease your own conscience. Right. It wasn't a mother's love. It was pure Carmen. Ooh. And we can't let her get away with this. Who said anything about trusting her? I didn't. I just want to control her, and I can with this information, and she knows it. So I made a deal with her. I give her a oh, choice. She has God. to stay away from us, or she goes to prison. Well, it won't work. <sighs> it will work. You just have to give it some time. Robbie's teething I'll again. Go, I'll go. I want to go. Let me go. Okay. Okay. Oh. Let me guess. Rick, you forgot your key again. I guessed wrong. Danny's upstairs. Please. Don't disturb me, Michelle. I really don't want to intrude. <laughs> How kind. I, um, brought him some arroz con pollo. It's his favorite dish from his favorite restaurant. Oh, I see. You want to help him get his strength back now that he's out of the hospital. Is that it? Motherhood has made you very intuitive, Michelle. And twice as suspicious. Look, I, I really didn't come here to bother Danny. I don't want to stay. Especially since he's been home only a few hours. Yeah, right after he told you not to come anywhere near us. What can I say? A mother worries about her son. Go ahead, I'll, I'll give you your care package. Thank you. Please don't tell him I was here. Dude, why not? Hmm? We had a deal, Carmen. And you broke the rules already. So I guess all bets are off now. Danny, I just came to bring you I don't care favorite. why you're here. I don't care what you brought. We had an agreement you were to stay away from us. But here you are, so obviously you're not afraid of doing time. I love you, Danny. I came to see that you were better. Now that's stronger than my fear of prison, and I'm not ashamed to admit it. Goodbye, Carmen. Unbelievable. But no surprise. Well, she's gone. Now, can we just forget about it, please? Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. Danny, ten minutes ago, you told me you made a deal with Carmen for her to stay out of her lives. And five minutes ago, she shows up. Well, so you tell me what's wrong with this deal with yours. She showed up because she's my mother. Oh, Danny. And she wanted to bring me some arroz con pollo. And how so... many times has she played this mother card with you to soften you up or to set you up? Every time. And I, she's doing it again. I, I can handle her. I can't even I can. believe that you think that she's never going to play by your rules. Well, we'll see. I just Won't don't we? even see that how we can afford to wait and see. Our lives are always at stake when she's around, Danny. Forget no. the deal. Call the police. Tell them what happened at the warehouse. Because if you don't, I will. Delicious. No, thank Have you. Have some. Honey, come on. What, I mean, what do you want me to say that, that can convince you that things are going to be okay? I'm sending Carmen to prison? 
other than that. I just don't see her staying away, Danny. She's obsessed with <sighs> us. Oh, Danny, Danny, I love you so much. Oh, where's that beautiful grandson of mine? And then there's our perfume that she wears. It's like she's bathing in that rose stuff of hers now. And she walks in here with that long, suffering mother look on her face. What? Mm, nothing. I mean, well, listen to you. Look at us. We're fighting about the, the wicked mother-in-law who showed up at our door and announced with a bunch of chicken and rice. We're, we're fighting about obnoxious perfume and irritating mannerisms. I mean, this is as close to normalcy as we've ever been. Honey, look at it that way. We've arrived. We're a regular married couple who fights about the evil mother-in-law. You really think that we're a typical married couple now? Well... Even with Carmen Santos in our lives. about that, but closer than ever before. Oh, what a concept. Mm-hmm. So, I guess I'll forget about sicking the police on Carmen, and I'll, I'll go along with your deal. Atta girl. You're the best. Mm, yeah, you're showing me how to be. Only you could set aside the hurt that Carmen's caused you and focus on the love that mm. she showed you in the hospital. And who knows? Maybe in time I'll... I'll feel differently about Carmen. Mm hmm Or my own mother. She would make life easier. Maybe. But I do know one thing for sure. I do trust you. As long as that's strong, as long as we're together, there's nothing that we can't do. And that includes getting Carmen to play by your rules. Because miracles can happen, Mrs. Santos. Fine. Mm. I found you, didn't I? Yeah. 